Hi, my name is Nick Asborn, aka The Coffee Detective. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Keurig B30 Mini of the Household K-Cup Brewers. This is the latest model from Keurig. Um, they started off with the B40, then the B60, which is this model, and then after that the B70. So the B30, B30 as you can see, is a little bit different. The most obvious thing about it is it's a lot smaller. It has a much smaller footprint there. So anyway, we're going to go right ahead and make a cup of coffee with the uh, the B30. I've turned it on, and one thing I did notice immediately: the difference between the two. I mean, the, the brew heads are the same and in the same position where you put the coffee cup or mug underneath. But with the B60 and the 40 and the 70, you you just lift that lever to open the the head there. I tried that with this and it doesn't actually work. You Instead you press a button at the top and the whole thing opens up like a jaw and the K-cup holder is right here. So I put the K-cup in there, use this now to close it, press it closed and a little lid pops up at the back. What's happening here is that the, the B30 doesn't have an attached water reservoir like the other models. You actually put in the water only when you need it. So this is an 8 ounce mug here. I've filled it with water and I'm now going to pour that into the little heating block in the back there and there's a fill line which I've just touched nicely. I close it up and I'm just about ready to brew. Not quite though, there's a little green flashing light up here and the brew button hasn't lit up yet. And that's because the B30 has two little sensors at the bottom here so that it won't brew a cup of coffee until you put a cup or a mug underneath. So now the light's flashing on the brew button and I can press that. It takes a little while for the, the heater to heat up and for it to start pumping the, the water down into the brew head, but that gives me time to mention one or two other things about these brewers. As I said, this one is, is certainly smaller. Uh, it has a, what I think is a much nicer design. Um, no space wasted, no extra parts hanging on for water reservoirs on the side. And this is quite a departure because with their other models from the B40 to the 60 to the 70, with each model that came out they increased the size of the water reservoir. And what they were thinking at that time was, look, people want to make one cup at a time, but maybe you know two or three people want one cup all at the same time, or maybe somebody just wants to leave it turned on and have another cup in, in an hour or half an hour after. With the B30, the thinking is quite different. Um, you know, they, they've removed that and you now really are making one cup at a time, heating up one uh, cup of water at a time for the, for the coffee you want to make. I think what the thinking behind this was that they realized that these were becoming quite large machines and didn't suit every kitchen or every circumstance. With this much smaller unit, it opens up possibilities for other people. So, for instance, if you uh, are going to college or have a son or daughter going to college or a nephew or niece, um, you know, this would fit very nicely in a dorm room. I mean, the, 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 the whole cake up process is perfect for, for young people in college because there's no coffee grinding, there's no messy filters, there's no clean up. You know, they just pop a cake up in there, uh, make the brew and they're done. It's also very good for people with very small kitchens or kitchenettes or limited counter space. And I know people who've purchased this for use on boats and RVs, where again, space is at a premium. One other way you can use the Keurig B30, and, and it's what I have planned for this little one here, is that when you're traveling and you're going to a hotel or motel and you're not sure if you have a coffee maker, or otherwise, like me, you get faintly disappointed by the coffee that you can make in your, your hotel room. I think I'm just going to pack this in my checked luggage, throw in some K-cups and a coffee mug and I'll be all set. Uh, so much more transportable, it's much lighter, has a much smaller footprint um, and really ideal for any circumstance where you still want all the convenience of K-cup coffee but you don't want to take up as much space with one of the larger models. So there we are the coffee is made. Now as soon as I, as I took that out you may have noticed that the, the, the noise inside the brewer stopped. What's happened actually is the brewer has turned itself off now. I mean I can, using the, the, the electronics panel here, 
I, I can set this to turn off at 10 minutes or 20 minutes or two hours after I've last made a cup of coffee. Um, and that's because the water reservoir is there, so who knows, maybe somebody's gonna come along in two minutes and want a cup of coffee. This one really is the one cup coffee maker. Um, so it saves space, but it also saves on energy because it immediately turns off the heating block within seconds of brewing that wonderful cup of coffee. So that's the B30. I like it. I, I like how it works and I really like the design.